A major court complex specialising in cybercrime and fraud cases is to be built in the City of London to promote the UK's financial and legal services post-Brexit. The scheme, likely to cost tens if not hundreds of millions of pounds, is being backed by the City of London Corporation, HIM Courts and Tribunal Services HMCTS, the Ministry of Justice and senior judges. The courthouse to be built near Fleet Street will have space for 18 courtrooms. Its primary focus will be on fraud, economic crime and cybercrime, though it will also hear criminal and civil cases currently listed at the City of the London Magistrates and County Courts. The investment is intended to bolster the city's reputation after the UK leaves the EU. It will further concentrate legal expertise in a small area of London around the Royal Courts of Justice, the Old Bailey, the Rolls Building, where most commercial cases are heard, and Inns of Court. As part of a project to digitize many of its services, HMCTS will use the new building to shift many of its high-volume, paper-based processes to digital channels. The new city court is part of a wider £1 billion HMCTS program to modernize the courts. Plans are already being developed to some minor cases, such as fair dodging, to be heard online. The project could trigger resentment among court users outside the capital where a succession of HMCTS closure programs aimed at making significant savings has led to hundreds of historic magistrates, county and crown courts being shut. Last year, the MOJ announced the closure of 86 crown, county, family and magistrates courts across England and Wales. In 2011, a previous economy drive led to 140 courts shutting their doors. The Rolls Building, which opened on the edge of the city in 2011, cost £300 million and contains 31 courtrooms. The cost of the new complex is to be revealed early next year when a feasibility scheme is published. The government is determined to protect London's status as a leading international legal and financial centre after Brexit. About 44,000 jobs in the square mile, more than 9% of the city's workforce, are in legal services. Catherine McGuinness, head of policy at the City of London Corporation Our legal system has been an example to the rest of the world. Photograph Alicia Cantor for The Guardian The precise location of the court has not yet been announced. Catherine McGuinness, head of policy at the City of London Corporation, said our legal system has been an example to the rest of the world. This proposal will make sure London continues to set the highest legal standards domestically and internationally. Our rule of law is one of the many reasons why London is the number one financial centre in the world and this new court will add to our many existing strengths. The Justice Minister Dominic Robb said this new flagship court will build on UK legal services' unique comparative advantage by leading the drive to tackle fraud and crack down on cybercrime. By reinforcing the city's world-leading reputation as the number one place to do business and resolve disputes, it's a terrific advert for post-Brexit Britain. Susan Acklandhood, chief executive of HMCTS, said the court will be fully equipped with 21st century technology, and will be a world-leading centre for economic and cybercrime, as well as working across other activity and jurisdictions. The Lord Chief Justice, Sir Ian Burnett, said, I'm delighted by the city's announcement today, which underlines its commitment to delivering justice in the city. The judiciary looks forward to working with the city and HMCTS to make this a reality.